Are you eating for two? She's gonna be an artiste. Today, we are gonna do a little camper art. And it's cool and it's fitting for what we wanna do and what something similar to what we've done in the past, but a little bit different. We're gonna make a pin on map from where we travel in our camper. We'll pin a spot every location that we've hit. Which is super fun because it means that I get to break out my favorite tool in my shop. So any excuse, I can pull this tool out, I am game. Let's get creating. Let's go. Using my Silhouette Cameo, I decided to trace a world map shape that I found online. I was able to create the map that I'm going to cut out using my scroll saw. I think this is a simplified version of the map, but it will make my project a little bit easier and have less small pieces to glue onto the wall in the camper space. I really want to have a map in the camper that the kids can mark the spots that we travel to using our camper. They absolutely love the interactive map that we started when we began our channel with all of our YouTube family members pinned on it. And so since they really love being able to do that, I thought having one in the camper was a complete must. And so I'm going to use another piece of scrap that we used from some of our plywood here in the camper to be able to scroll saw cut what I'm going to create for the map. So I just went to Google, found a very simplified version of a map, just because I know some of the pieces on a map are very tiny, and I'm going to use my contact paper to use my stencil, trace it onto the wood, and then I'm going to attempt to cut this out using the scroll saw. I've been practicing for months doing different projects with the scroll saw, so I think I can do it. And then I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive to be able to put it onto the wall in the camper after I paint it and whatever. I have to decide what color I want, and then the boys will be able to pin their pins on it. So I need to weed out the pieces of the stencil here that I don't want. Taping it on just keeps it in place for me while I do that. Is that the full map or just half of it? So this is just half the map because we obviously cannot drive the camper across the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Who says? Who says? Don't worry, we still want to travel to the other side of the world. <laughs> I'm going to transfer the image using some other pieces of contact paper to be able to put it onto the plywood and then I'll be able to start tracing. All right, now, taking my sharp pencil, I'll be able to trace around and then cut it out with the scroll saw. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be super fun to cut out. Can you do some type of genie thing where like, I snap my fingers and I'm done tracing. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay. Or do you snap your fingers or do you wiggle your nose? What do you do? Uh, let's do, yeah. oh, like when I used to watch like Dream of Genie when I was a kid. Ding. Okay, so we are all traced and ready to remove the contact paper. And then we can get scroll sawing. All right, are you ready to cut? Eep, wish me luck. Good luck. I love having a scroll saw. It is my absolute favorite tool in my shop. I've made so many different things, whether it be gifts, DIYs, or home decor with it. And once you get the hang of it, it is a really easy tool to use. The possibilities are endless, and I just love how it's a little bit challenging at the beginning, and it kind of keeps me on my toes, and I'm always thinking of new projects that I can do with my scroll saw. This is a really great example of once you get a little bit of practice, you can cut out more intricate designs, still having enough confidence to know that you're using a tool that's very creative and safe to use. If you just kind of give yourself a little bit of time to learn, you can grow with this tool. 
So we actually cut out a circle also because I thought it would be really cute if we actually did the compass that we have on the outside of the camper on this little round disc that we're going to display with the map. That way we can kind of have a little bit of our travel compass inside, which I think is a really cute idea. I also have another idea for a spot that I want to put it in the interior of the camper. So I'll probably do that on another video, but I think that the map turned out really good and I was planning on painting this. And so I actually decided I think because I kind of like that it has the lighter wood on the outside and then the darker mahogany on the top that oh, that it will actually be really cool because it looks really 3D with the two different colors of wood tone. And so I'm going to sand this as best as I can um, and then be able to hang this on the wall. But I'm going to create the compass too also to hang up, which I think is going to be really cute. Let's sand this up. I didn't break it. Look at how narrow it got there. I was certain this the vibrations of the scroll saw was going to. It's not hung up it. yet. <laughs> Stop! Have faith in me. I have faith. Using my silhouette cameo, I already have the design that we created for the compass on the camper, and so I just cut it out printed it in a very, very small three inch by three inch size. And then I love that using my Cameo, I can shrink things and grow things as much as I want and be able to change the dimensions of the designs because I can use it on a bunch of different spots now in the camper. And so I'm going to use my pin and weed out the lettering. It is so tiny. I hope that I can get it to look proper. And then I have a paintbrush ready to be able to touch up any spots if I need to, because this is a super tiny design. But I think it's gonna look really cool on this little disc, you know, combination with the map. left and mm. I actually used it on the other side already. <laughs> I'm in a supply shortage. I want it to look kind of faded so okay now I can see that only two of my actual letters of our names stamped out or die cut out so I'm gonna have to paint the other two on the other side but let's see how this worked. So many pieces to take off. This is where ten thousand dollar tuition for art school comes <laughs> into play. <laughs> to do a tiny little bit of rolled white paint on the spot that I'm going to put it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just so we can see if that's exactly where I want it and what it's gonna look like if I leave it the natural wood that it is. I still have a few small little islands and stuff to cut out and a few other tiny small places that likely we won't be able to get to actually with the camper but that I still wanna make sure are part of the map. And so I'm pretty excited. I think the compass is a really cute addition. So I think it's gonna go on this wall and then I'll just put like a little container here where the kids can have some pins and stuff or just hide it back behind. So what pregnancy symptoms have you already had? Well, I'm hungry 24 seven. Okay. I'm craving weird foods. You keep telling me that you're growing. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. I'm, I'm a growing man. Oh my goodness. I just don't know if I'm growing up. I'm growing out. I was the other morning being like, what do you guys want to eat? What do you guys want to eat? And the boys, I was like, that's it. You guys are cut off. There's no more food for you guys. And they, all three of the boys were like, but we're growing. And I was like, Philip, you're, you need food. You're growing. I'm oh growing. my goodness gracious. 700 comments <laughs> saying Elisha is pregnant. Oh my there goodness. There were a few comments that were saying I was pregnant. Those, True story. <laughs> those were closer comments. Some of you were pretty close. A whole bunch of you were way off. Way off. But super fun. You guys are getting close. So keep commenting down below what you think the secret is. We have about close to three weeks before we can reveal our secret to you guys. Keep guessing. <laughs>
We had another productive day in the camper today. We had sunshine for about an hour and a half today, and yeah. then it's been dark, gloomy, almost storming all afternoon, so we don't really know what the night's gonna bring us, but luckily we were able to get this video finished up before we actually had some torrential downpour. It's pretty loud in the camper when it storms. I think the map looks really cute in the camper. I think it's a great addition to having something that the kids can use interactively in the camper. They love to be part of all of that stuff and they just absolutely love the YouTube family member map that we did when we first started our channel that we update regularly. We will show you guys in a video upcoming showing you guys how full our map is. So if you haven't already told us where you are in the world as part of our YouTube family, make sure you let us know in the comment section where yes. you are so we can make sure that we have you as part of our map because we have an incredibly full map, but there are places that still we don't know for sure if we have YouTube family members. So let us know because we know there's over 100,000 of you watching our channel and we want to make sure we have everyone's family marked on the map. It's so fun. It's a fun thing for us to do with the kids is go through the comments and then pin where you guys are mm -hmm. on the map. So if you leave where you are in the comments, maybe in an, one of the next videos, we'll okay. show the map filled sure. with all the pins. We can do that. It's pretty full. <laughs> We're lucky we have such a full map. So we're excited to be able to pin some marks that we're going to travel with with our camper in the camper here on our new map that we're going to use just for the family trips for the actual trips that this particular camper has gone on. Gone on. We have done some traveling with the kids in the past, but I think it would be fun to mark just the spots that we travel to with this camper. So we're doing such a big renovation and I think it's going to be really fun and the kids are just so excited about this camper makeover. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you're not already part of our YouTube family, what, what are, are you, you waiting, waiting for? for? Hit the subscribe button. And if not for anything, just for support of Philip and his pregnancy symptoms, yes. because he needs all the support he can. <laughs> because when Philip has a cold, he gets a man cold. So I'm just no. letting you know that the pregnancy no. symptoms are in full no. effect over what here. What are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> in the camper. Save me. Okay. So uh, a little side note. I am not pregnant, but that was a very good guess. We promised that we would tell you in an epic way if there was ever another baby addition coming to our family. So I am not pregnant, and clearly I... Philip is growing, but not pregnant. So thank you guys for cheering us on and being so excited if we were having a baby. But we are not having a baby. I'm not pregnant. So super exciting. Uh, side note, I was the sickest pregnant woman you will ever meet in your entire life. And Both so times. if this body was to have a baby, um, yeah, there would be a momental way we would show you guys that we were pregnant. Probably would be me puking in a toilet bowl. Oh, so geez. we will spare you with that. So yeah, thank you, you guys my. so much for watching. We love you guys and we will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye. Love you guys.